How often do you shoot your camera in automatic? Did you know that most professional photographers never use the automatic setting? Do all of these buttons and words like aperture, ISO, and shutter speed confuse you? Hi, my name is Mia Meehan and I am a Texas 4-H photography ambassador. I am a member of the Grandview 4-H Club in Johnson County and I have been involved in the photography project for six years. Today I'm going to try to simplify aperture, ISO, and shutter speed so these three camera terms are not as confusing. Let's get you off the automatic setting and shooting like a pro in manual. To better understand these three terms, imagine a room with a window. On the outside of the window are plastic shutters and on the inside is a thin, semi-transparent curtain. The aperture is the size of the window. A big window means a lot of light can get into the room. A tiny window would mean that the room is dimly lit. Basically, the aperture is the hole in the lens that lets light through. It is a window. It is sometimes referred to as the f-stop. They are defined as an f with a slash and then a number. Now here is the confusing part. Even though you have a large window letting in a lot of light, basically a big hole in the lens, it is going to be written in a small number. Yes, I know these numbers can be confusing until I remember that they are the opposite. A higher number has a small opening or a small window. Now let's think about how long the shutters are open. This is a shutter speed. When the shutters are open, light can get into the room, but when the shutters are closed, the room is dark. Shutter speed is counted in fractions of seconds and, sec and seconds. A 250 is a 1 250th of a second. When you see a 5 with a sign, that is actually a shutter speed of a whole 5 seconds. If you want to freeze action, you obviously need a faster shutter speed, which is going to allow less light into the camera. Now, ISO is like a curtain. The amount of light that can get into the room also depends on the thickness of the semi-transparent curtain called ISO. A thick curtain will prevent much light from getting in, and a thin curtain will allow nearly all of the light to get in. Basically, the ISO determines how sensitive the camera's image sensor is to light. A lower ISO means less sensitive to light and is used in bright conditions. A higher number means more sensitive to light and is used in darker light conditions. The average ISO for a DLSR camera is 100 to 1600. Be careful when shooting at an insanely high ISO. Your photos will start to have a noise, which is small specks of black and white across an image, especially in the shadows. That is a quick look at the three important settings on your camera when going through classes to become a junior master photographer and a photography ambassador, we were told that understanding those three terms is key. Everything else is just bells and whistles. So get out that camera and play. If your shot needs more light, try changing your aperture, shutter speed, and ISO one at a time to see how your shot changes. Whatever you do, get off that automatic mode. Thanks for watching.